Tidal, Texas Splashville Shutdown, A Tiny Tidal Wave of Tragedy. TL, DR, Splashville Waterpark in Stephenville, Texas is hitting the pause button following a heartbreaking incident involving a four-year-old's fatal encounter with water. Authorities responded to an emergency call and discovered a full-blown resuscitation operation led by bystanders and lifeguards for the toddler, unfortunately pronounced dead later that night. Texas Rangers have joined local police and Texas Parks and Wildlife Game Wardens to examine the distressing episode. Meanwhile, the park's gate remains shut, with no specific reopening date in sight. Every parent's nightmare unfolded at the Splashville Water Park in Stephenville this past weekend, where a family outing quickly turned into a devastating loss. Despite desperate attempts by lifeguards and fellow water park goers to resuscitate a tiny tot, the four-year-old's life was swept away in a tidal wave of tragedy. Now, the park is temporarily closed and a somber hush has replaced the familiar sounds of splashing and laughter. But how did this all happen? The emergency call came in around 7.45 p.m. Saturday night, dispatching officers to a scene of terror. Imagine the panic, the dread, a four-year-old kid unresponsive in the pool, with bystanders and lifeguards frantically performing CPR. The child was rushed to the ER at Texas Health Stephenville, but despite the valiant efforts, the young swimmer's life could not be saved. A breathless moment, followed by the worst news a parent could ever receive. Imagine being there, could you keep your head above the emotional water? With the chilling news, Splashville quickly transformed from a haven of summer fun into a crime scene. Now, the Texas Rangers, along with the local boys in Blue and Texas Parks and Wildlife Game Wardens, are piecing together the tragic puzzle. What could have possibly led to this tragedy? Could it have been prevented? The official statement from the police department indicated that at this time all indicators are that this is a tragic accident. An accident, yes, but one that has caused a ripple effect of sorrow, leaving the community and parkgoers devastated. An accidental drowning, in a place of joy and laughter, how does one reconcile with that? The water park, located roughly 100 miles from downtown Dallas, has since remained silent, its joyful atmosphere swallowed up by the deep waters of this tragedy. In a brief social media update, Stephenville Parks and Recreation stated that Splashville was closed for the day on Sunday. The big question remains though, when will the park reopen, and when it does, will the echoes of this tragedy ever really disappear? The whole community is undoubtedly rocked, the joyful summer vibe stained with a shadow of heartache. But, for all of us absorbing this news, it leaves us contemplating, in the quest for fun and adventure, are we overlooking the inherent risks? And more importantly, when tragedy strikes, how do we strike back? How do we ensure that a day out in the sun doesn't turn into a day of mourning? What's your take on this? Let's start the conversation.